Welcome to Ark Survival Evolved. I am Veduia42 and I'll be your guide. If you are like me, you might have at some point been looking for the Black Pearls and have had some problem finding them. And since they aren't just uh, laying about like this and even though they on the ground look sort of like the, the mussels or the clams, they are actually Black Pearls. But I'm going to show you an easy way to get them by farming them from the Trilobites. But let's start from the beginning. Black Pearls are a resource and you can find them by harvesting dead bodies. You can get them from the trilobites, death worms, and so on, and including some alpha creatures, which of course is a little bit deadly. So why do you need them? Well, they are an intricate component in a lot of the tech crafting. However, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not at the tech level right now. But I wanted the motorboat, I wanted the camera, and unfortunately, these require the black pearl. So I needed a way to farm them relatively safely and easily without being at endgame. And one way to do it pretty easily and not have to do it manually or by hand is to use the Diplocaus, which has the five times damage to trilobites. These are nice little dino creatures that are running around this swamp and uh, you have to obviously tame it and, uh, and there are a few ways to capture it obviously. I personally like to build a small little cage, capture it with my RG and then drop it in and then topper it and tame it. So where do you find the trilobites? Well, normally it, they're on beaches, sandy beaches, alone or in small groups. And I'm here on Olga Beach on Ragnarok, where they do spawn. And they're these smaller creatures which are usually in the shallows or slightly deeper water, just sort of moosing around on their own on the bottom. It can be a little bit tough to spot before you sort of figure out how they look, depending on your angle, the water sort of hides them, but they're fairly small compared to see one of the turtles over there and one of the small fishes on that side. Now the Diplocolos has some really interesting properties. One, it doesn't require a saddle, but you can only ride it in the water, meaning when it's swimming. You move up to it and ride. Let's go underneath here. You also see that uh, we both have the same oxygen bar and actually you are borrowing oxygen from the Diplocolis. So you can actually stay underwater for a very long time. It's also quite nice and maneuverable. And that can be really helpful because there's a lot of sharks around and mantas and other bad things. But here we see a small little trilobite, move up to it and attack. And you'll see tons of damage. Unfortunately, this time we did not get any black pearls. Here's another one, and you see two black pearls. Score! As you can see, there's quite a few of these trilobites, as long as you just swim around and look for them. And uh, the oxygen doesn't go down very much because usually these ones have a really large tank of oxygen. They don't use it themselves, but they share it with you. They don't have a lot of carry capacity, so you might have to uh, dump some of the things that you find, but of course you also find quite a bit of chitin and oil. Once you're back, head back to shore and you'll automatically get off and... He'll follow you if he's, well, he's a nice friend, little chap. Grab those pearls and you're a little bit closer to building your raft or making your tech equipment if you have progressed that far. Hope you've enjoyed this little guide. I'll see you next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.